just learned that some people call this fly a daddy long legs. Well, for me, a daddy long legs was always something more spider. -y. Check out my video on mosquito hawks for more information on the flying kind of daddy long legs. Today, I want to talk about the flightless kind. What even are they? Are they actually spiders or something else? Even though I love bugs, I'll be honest with you, spiders and things that look like them still kind of creep me out a bit. But that's just personal bias talking, and I'm a bug professional, so let's get into it. It turns out that one type of daddy long legs is actually a spider. Well, another kind is one of the spider's relatives. The spider kind are also called cellar spiders because they like to live in your basement. They're members of the Fulcidae family. Fulcidae is of Greek origin, coming from the word fulkos and meaning squint-eyed. Like most spiders, they have eight eyes, but for the fulcids, six of those eyes are arranged in groups of three clustered together, while the other two are right next to each other in the middle. So actually they kind of look like a, they have a skull, a human skull for a body. And so some people call these skull spiders. So what about the other type of daddy long legs? The one that's not quite a spider and is actually the one that I grew up calling that name? They are arachnids, but not actual spiders. Instead, they're called harvestmen, but you can tell the difference because they have no waist. Well, all arachnids have two main body segments. That's a prosoma or cephalothorax, which comes from Greek cephalo for head and thorax for chest, prosoma being Greek for first body. And the second body segment is called an opisthosoma from Greek opisth for rear and again soma for body. In spiders, the prosoma and opisthosoma are constricted in between, giving the appearance of a, of a small waist. But these harvestmen have no waist, and it actually just looks like their two main body segments form one kind of ball-shaped body segment. And that can tell you that they are not spiders, but harvestmen or opilions. So the name daddy long legs can refer to a crane fly, a falsed spider, or a harvestman or opilion, depending on who you ask. This chart shows the evolutionary relationships between the three creatures. They're not really that closely related. I mean, two of them are arachnids, but there's lots of other spiders who are not considered daddy long legs. So really, this is a case of convergent evolution of these long, skinny legs. So why the name harvestman? It's kind of a weird one. Well, they do become more common in the fall, typical harvest time, and the name opilion comes from the Latin for, word for shepherd or sheep master. So we have an agricultural theme. Supposedly, the long skinny legs of the opilion resembled an old-fashioned style of shepherding where shepherds would stand on five-foot-long stilts and use a, a long pole for balance and this would give them a bird's eye view of their flock so they wouldn't get lost. It also helped them stay dry while walking around in marshy areas. Supposedly, opilions were really common in nice grazing fields that are good for sheep, giving them an association with shepherding. Of course, I should note that not all harvestmen have long legs and some of them actually have pretty short legs. So just like the name daddy long legs can be used for a fly, a spider, or a harvestman, there's actually a common myth that people apply to any of the three. And this is the idea that supposedly daddy long legs have incredibly strong venom that can make them incredible predators if only they had the fangs capable of biting. And while it's true that the falsid spiders and the opilions have really short fangs and they can't really bite human skin, their venom's not too strong either. In fact, there are many spiders with much stronger venom that can actually become a danger to humans. So even if these guys could bite you, they really wouldn't do much harm. Spiders and opilions are both members of the Chelicerata, that is, the fanged creatures. Chelicera are the names of their fangs, coming from the Greek pili, for claw or hook, plus keras, meaning horn. Pili kera, but it's been anglicized as Chelicera. One thing the opilions do have going for them is that they can emit nasty smelling chemicals called benzoquinones that can help them fend off predators. So don't touch them because you're liable to get something smelly on your hands. And there you have it. When you're talking about daddy long legs, be clear on what kind of creature you're talking about because it might mean something different to someone else.